Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe, Eid Mubarak. Super excited today because I did this glittered wing look to celebrate and honor the people that follow that are participating in Ramadan this year. I have a lot of Muslim friends that I've been honored to share iftars with and host iftars this year. So I wanted to create a special tutorial to celebrate Eid for the completion of Ramadan, which is a super special day. I'm not Muslim, but I have a lot of friends, loved ones, some of the most important people in my life are Muslim, so I wanted to dedicate this video to them. Today we did something that's like kind of simple-ish, but we made it a little spicy by adding a little bit of glitter. If you'd like to see how to get the look, then please stay tuned. So first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydro Full Retexturizing Gel Creme. Mmm, it smells delish. By the way, that feels really good. Next up, I'm gonna use the Banana Bright Eye Cream by Ula Henriksen. And we'll put that on all around the eyes. Just for a little extra hydration. If you're gonna have a full day of celebration, might as well look cute. Also painted my nails for once. Very fancy. I'm gonna use the Liquid Glow by Anastasia in bronze. And this is just gonna help to give our skin like a really nice dewy look without it melting away. And just get a little bronze to our skin. I'll we'll put that on over top of everything. I like to use something shimmery because it just kind of like blurs the skin. Makes everything look hella cute. Next up, we're gonna take the Juvia's Place foundation in Havana. This foundation is the business. Put little dots here and there. Oops, didn't mean to do a little dot. Okay, wow, that's probably way too much. And I'm gonna take her brush that it comes with and just blend it in. <laughs> This is the worst. I don't even know what to do about that. I'm just gonna leave it. Just give it a nice blend in. If you can flick it off your face and it lands on your shirt, that's probably too much. But this is a really nice, like, full coverage, very matte foundation. So that's why I like to use something a little bit glowy underneath. And what I like about it is it blends really fast. I actually prefer this with a brush like this for foundation just because it goes on a lot quicker. So definitely have, like, makeup doing clothes while you're getting ready because you know you want to wear that, those new outfits, and you don't want to do what I just did. Is there makeup way <laughs> Everything is happening right now. Anyways, moving along. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Concealer in Caramel Corn. I'm gonna do a nice aggressive highlight, you feel me? I wanna do the most today. And I'm putting it on the highest parts of my face or where I want my bone structure to come forward. So I think we'll just blend it with the same brush, why not? And sometimes I go back and forth because I really want this to set at the same speed as the other side of my eye just did, so. Go around the mouth, make sure it's not ashy. We want to be classy. A little finger tap so it melts in nicely. Then I'm gonna take the MAC Dip Down Fluid Line and do my eye bristles. So I'm gonna do little strokey strokes, making sure that my brush is nice and flat from the bottom row of hair of my brows. So doing those little strokes makes them look slightly more realistic, even though they're definitely not. And I'm just kind of going in the same direction that the hair grows. So on the top, they kind of grow downwards and underneath, they grow upward. So we're doing our best and we will extend the tail here. And I always like a straighter brow just because it really lifts my face. So if you want a little snatch, do a straighter brow because it will lift your face. And then once it's kind of got the shape in, I'll just go in, do little tiny hairy stripes in there. So it looks the most real. Next, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Graham Cracker and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my foundation. And I'm mixing with my foundation just to kind of like thin it out a little bit, but I'm going to snatch my brows and I don't want it like too light, you know? But I'm going to use that Graham Cracker color again to go underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit more. But I like to use the caramel corn because it's like very peach and a little closer to my skin color. So I feel like it camouflages my dark circles a little bit more. 
and I'm just kind of like rolling it underneath my brow. Gives it a nice little lift. Not that they need to be any higher, but obviously we're gonna make them higher. Same thing on the top, just going a little bit above where I would like to be and then moving it down a little bit, just so that they're nice and snatched. And I'm just opening up the space in between my brows a little bit for more youthful appearance, you know? Now that we're snatched, remember how I said I was gonna put graham cracker under my eyes? Now's the time. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit and I like to do it on top because I don't want it to look like too aggressively light. And I feel like it just kind of blends in a little bit easier if you do it second. And I like to push it like right up near my nose so when I contour it looks extra snatched. And then just on the nose. Highlight is popping. Next, I'm going to go into the Natasha Denona Biba All Neutral Palette. So first, I'm going to go into the color Pasha, and I'm going to use a Mac 239, and I'm just going to like tap that on the kind of half of my lid. And we're gonna do kind of a angled shape yeah. across towards my eyebrow, basically. And I'm just trying to get my shape in. Same thing on this side. Then I'm gonna take the shade buff and buff it out. And I'm just kind of going directly on top of it to smooth it and pull it out to its furthest edges. I'm gonna go back in with Pasha, the first color we use, and just darken up the edges a little bit. And then just going back in to buff it out, our blending brush. And then just to sharpen it, I'm gonna take our snatching brush and just do a nice little line to separate. Next up, I'm gonna go into the shade Monroe and do that in the inner corners of my eye. Next, I'm gonna take the Morphe Jet Eyeliner Cream Gel. Same brush we did our eyebrows with. Same thing, smoothing it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna do a line along where we did our snatching and I'm gonna just quickly go across. Nice and far out. I'm gonna pull it in just a touch in the inner corners of my eyes too. And I want it to be smooth and thick when my eyes are open. So I usually fill it in a little bit in the crease so that it looks nice with an open eye. Sometimes we stretch our face and stuff and that can make your eyeliner wonky. So as long as you put your shape in first and then go in after, it should be fine. Yeah. If you wanna be a little cheater like me, you can take your snatching brush again. Just smooth it out. Cool. Next up, I'm gonna take the Starfire Heavy Metal Glitter Liner by Urban Decay. Basically, just gonna go around what we did.
And I think I'm gonna do it right underneath my lash line too, cause like why not, let's be extra. And in the inner corners of my eyes, Now I'm gonna take my OG Fave, the Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm gonna take this Urban Decay Large Powder Brush. I'm gonna smash up this face. I'm just pushing the base of the brush into the hollows of my cheeks so where it kind of sinks in, and then letting the rest buff around. Wanna be real bronzed while I do it. <laughs> Go along with jawline, cover up that double chin. And then for the nose, I'm gonna take the Next to Nothing Powder by MAC in Dark Deep also. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just do a little nose snatching. Cute. Next, I'm gonna take the Jouer Terracotta Sands blush, which is on this side, same brush. Give yourself some nice little bit of rosiness. And for highlight, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Go right on the highest points of my face. and above the brow. Yeah. And I always like to put it on top lip because it makes your lips take a little more popping. I'm gonna take the Hourglass Caution Mascara and do a nice light coat on the top. I'm gonna take some Iris Beauty Lashes and I think these are in Athena, but I'll have to write the right name in the description box. And then I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom lashes. I like this mascara because it's super long wearing, but it doesn't get all crumbly like a waterproof, so it's a hardcore win for me. Next up, I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Truffle. It smells delish. And then to top it off, I'm gonna use the Honey I'm Home Gloss. Just in the center, make your lips look pouty. I'm gonna take off my headband and we'll be right back. So that completes our look. Eid Mubarak, everybody. Have a beautiful Eid, and hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye.